Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man. Check it, man. Listen, man. Hey, man. I'm telling you, man. I have, man, I looked at this and very disturbing just a few hours ago. Lil Dirt is arrested in connection with a murder for hire is what it's saying in the double XL magazine. I'm going to read this to you because I like to be on point. Uh, let me see what, what's going down because it's really disturbing. It's double XL has even reported it. Academics have reported it. Everybody reporting it. Lil Dirk arrested, charged with murder for hire. Lil Dirk has been arrested in South Florida and charged with murder for hire. Uh, uh, Lil Dirk arrested, charged with murder for hire on Thursday, October 24th. Dirk was taken into custody in Boward County, FLA, XL, Double <clears throat> XL has confirmed via police records. The 32 year old Chicago rapper born Dirk Banks faces charges of murder for hire and is being held without bun. He is currently in the Broward, Broward, Broward County Jail pending transfer of custody to U.S. Marshals. There are no further details on the arrest. Now it goes on to say in Double XL, here are the longest prison bids in hip hop history. It talks about that, but it says five OTF affiliates arrested for murder of Quando Rondo's cousin. Dirk's arrest comes hours after five Chicago natives and alleged OTF affiliates were arrested and charged with murder for hire and murder for hire conspiracy in connection in the 2022 murder of Quando Rondo's 24 year old cousin, uh, Savea Robinson, uh, which I think it's a little pub. It says in Los Angeles, the indictment filed in the U S district courts in Los Angeles claims that all five are associated of uh, associates of little Dirks, uh, OTF collective, according to the Chicago Tribune flights and rental cars for five men were paid for with credit cards tied to the label. It says the pr prosecution alleges prosecutors also reportedly claim an unnamed member of OTF allegedly offered lucrative music opportunities to anyone who would kill Quando Rondo. And that's reported from Double XL. And I just want to get into it a little bit. You know, I don't know how Le Dirk, now this is a multimillionaire. He, he has succumbed to these, the, you know, the get back allegedly for King Von, which we know King Von got killed uh, when he was into a, a situation, altercation with Quando Rondo in Atlanta years before that. But I got my guy who's very familiar with uh, different things we read and we look up things and this this stuff is out here. Uh, OG Piru, you there? Man, yes, man look like look like look, look crazy. yeah, look like little Dirk then got himself in a situation up there. He out of Chicago. Uh, OTF is the name of his crew. They arrested all of the members of OTF. A, a lot of those members that are in videos with him. They're sir, it, the same thing. We look at the same thing. OG, what is going on with the young folks, man? Why are they so into they they doing the get back thing, but why is it so livid? The snitching is real. Ain't nobody not telling. Man, like I said before, loyalties is the money now. And any time this, this dude allegedly, OG Smooth, he couldn't do 12 years. So he didn't uh, turn allegedly informant to the feds and gave them the information and they, uh, they, they arrested uh, Dee Dee, Vani, Flocka, Brown Eyes, and Boogie. These are wow. supposedly all of uh, uh, Lil Dirk's partners. They got footage on them after the, after the incident in jewelry stores, and they claim Lil Dirk was buying expensive jewelry, and they got three of the alleged, I think it was Vani, Boogie, and Dee Dee, they got pictures of them in the jewelry store after uh, the shooting of uh, Quando Rondo's cousin in, out here in Beverly Hills, right? Yeah, Lil Pub. So, his name was Lil Pub. Huh? His name was Lil, Lil Pub. That's his name. That's what he go by. He was shot. 
And Quan, I think Quando Rondo was out there with him at the time, from what he I'm was, seeing. Yeah, he was right. He was there with him because right after that, they said that uh, a little Dirk made a rap song talking about "Oh no, oh no." When uh, uh, Quando Rondo found out his his uh, relative was had passed, he had started screaming, and they got him on the camera screaming "Oh no, oh no." And they say little allegedly little Dirk made a rap tune after that. So they said that they used uh, used credit cards from his company that uh, that they rented cars. They rented the the, the B it was a BMW and an Infinity, and they changed switched the license plates out, and that all five of these the arrested guys now got plane tickets. And uh, uh, was with the credit card from their company. These dudes don't even know how to really go get down. I, you know, get somebody get individual tickets. They all got it on the same credit card. But they said allegedly, uh, we can do another gangster Williams. Put it on the dead. They say it, it could have been Little Dirk's brother that did this because he's deceased. I don't know how how he died or how wow. did he get killed. Wow. Man, what what do you take what do you take from this, uh, OG? I know you a man this season, and you've seen a lot of that things in your days. What what do you take from all these young rappers uh, when it comes to it? It, it, it takes, you know you getting too personal in something that's really not not even your character, and people are losing their lives, and in losing their lives. It's just like with the uh, Young Thug trial. And, you know, all of these dudes, you look at some of the defendants, some of the, uh, the, the witnesses, again, these little kids look soft. They got room temperature IQs. They get in there with these. They have no uh, breathing. They don't have any culture of gangster life. And they break down in front of these Yankees and turn everybody else in. Do you think, you, know? you think, Quando Rondo, uh, you know, <clears throat> with his cousin uh, dying, King Von, uh, which is Lil Dirk's people, you know, his his pretty much his protege, you know, passing, you know, this stuff, man, the, fed, the feds has got this. So they're sitting back waiting. They're looking. They know they got you. When they come at you, they're not playing. We've already talked about their conviction rate. The feds picked this up, picked this boy up, you know, got all these other boys the day before. Um, this is not looking too good for uh, Lil Durk, man. No, it's not. It's, I mean, they, they're going to get him on a conspiracy one way or another. And I guarantee you the same way in the YSL trial, these dudes are going to get in jail and get on the phone and get to talking loosely on the phone. And all the phone calls are tapped. Whatever you say, on a, a, a attorney told me in Texas, Way back in the day, never say nothing on the phone that you can't say in court. And these dudes be on the phone. They got so much evidence in in the YSL trial of these dudes. Nineteen hours of talking, talking. So do you talking. think? So you think that Lil Dirt crew, OTF, these guys are going to get on the phone? Uh, they just got arrested a few days ago. Now they got uh, Dirt. You think all of these boys so? So they they're not really understanding the 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 seriousness of what's happening enough and to know that they, they don't need to get on that dang they, phone. They didn't just get on the phone. E. They didn't been on the phone and they didn't tap all of their cell. So they already was on the phone. They been on the phones. They didn't been talking to, just like Woody was talking to his sister. These dudes that been on the phone talking to them. Oh man, we went to L.A. and we did that and we. That is uh, uh, enough for indictment. And then this boy, supposed to be such a gangster, OG Smooth, uh, he then got cracked on a 12-year beef and started talking, got immunity, and supposedly got out, allegedly. I don't know him from a can of paint, but allegedly it, it, it was enough that they picked up, I think they picked up Lil Dirk in Miami. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I just read. In Broader County, in Miami, and uh, three of the three of his co-defendants, they waived their rights, and they back in Cali already on Thursday. Put them on the plane, and the other two are going to court. I guess they're fighting expedition, but 
they they go to court Monday in Chicago to get transported back to L.A. for a conspiracy to commit murder. Wow, man, man, thank you so much, OG. This here is crazy. We had to let you guys in on what's going on. OG, hey, get in the OG Baru Ayatollah Marv says that these guys pretty much need to stay off the phones. Even the conversation they've already had, they can't take those back. But do you agree with him? They need it. Look, Dirk, this is a call to action to stay off the phone. Uh, all of your little partners, everybody that's in connection with this with you, uh, uh, Bunny, uh, Boogie, stay off the phones. Dee Dee, stay off the phones. Is this something that they need to do? Stay off of those phones because you already done said enough. Boss Talk 101, uh, <laughs> what a boss is talk, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.